Streets. One year ago today, nearly 200,000 people left the city of Oroville and surrounding areas believing they may not have a home to return to because of a breach in the Oroville spillway. After days of emergency work, the threat faded and families returned safely. But the crisis exposed flaws in the nation's, nation's tallest spillway that would take millions of dollars and months to fix. CBS 13's Angela Masalam is live at the Capitol with the new bill that lawmakers believe will keep a crisis like this from happening ever again. Angela? Yeah, Tony Christina, that is absolutely right. The bill here calls for closer, more detailed inspections of the Oroville Dam. Also, new protocols, which include taking a deeper dive into the original design of the dam itself. One year ago today, we once again experienced the sick, paralyzing fear in the pit of our stomachs. A familiar feeling for Michael Morris, one of many evacuees forced to race to safety one year ago today when the main spillway at the Oroville Dam failed. I couldn't believe what was going on. Morris had been patrolling the levees in Yuba City when he got the call. Another evacuee who lives right next to the Feather River recounts going into fight or flight mode. We had to make a decision if we were going to stay home or move out. Both evacuees' homes were spared, but they're now at the Capitol in support of new legislation cracking down on dam safety in Oroville. The original design uh, had deficiencies, um, and pretty much everybody that's looked at that has said that that was the case. Assemblyman James Gallagher is behind the bill. He's pushing for more oversight at the Oroville Dam and more in-depth inspections, which he says up until now were superficial. Our current statute says that dams should be inspected from time to time. Obviously, that is completely insufficient. Gallagher says his bill would require the Department of Water Resources to set higher standards for dam inspections and work with outside agencies and experts to develop more detailed protocols. Never again. Since the mass evacuation, Morris makes it a point to get a tour of the Oroville Dam every few months, while many across the North State hold their breath, hoping they'll never have to relive February 12th of 2017 again. And by the time we're done, the entire state is going to give a damn. Now, the Orville Dam is inspected at least once a year. DWR says the repairs to the main spillway have already been completed. But, Tony, Christina, if this bill were to be signed by the governor, there's a whole lot more work that's going to need to go into these repairs. Yeah, I bet. Okay, Angela, we saw him live at the Capitol. Angela, thanks.